Hello Codebase family, today we are going to build an AI powered voice assistant using Python. Let us take a demo of what we are going to build. Sir, I am listening for your command. Who was the first man on the moon? I am computing an answer for your request. I will be done soon. The first man on the moon was Neil Armstrong who became a pioneer of space flight. So that is what we are going to build. If you are excited about it, as I am, then jump into the next session where we start building it from scratch. Okay, welcome. We will need a couple of packages that uh, you have to make sure you have them installed on your system using pip install, or you can also come to where you see the Python, click on it and choose interpreter, and then interpreter settings, and then it will take you to a page with some plus icon. You can click on it and then add those packages straight to your environment without having to type pip install. Python does that for us. These are the packages that we need. We need PyTTXX3, we need OpenAI, and then speech recognition, but speech recognition also uses the Py audio. So make sure that you have all of these installed and then let us start writing the code. So we have to make a quick import of those packages, PyTTSX3. We also have to import speech recognition. But this one we import it as SR. We also have to import OpenAI. And then we have to use OpenAI API, so let us go to their website and then register and then get our API key. Just type openai.com slash API, link will be in the description, and then it will take you to this site. But make sure that you sign up if you have not registered before, and then if you have registered before, you sign in with your credentials, and then you come you will come to this page when this page opens just come to the place where you see your avatar and then come to view api keys that will take you to this site if you haven't created any key this place will be blank but you can click at this side and then create a new key i have already created one so i'll not create one again but when you create the key you can copy it and then we get back into python and then use it there I have stored the API key inside an environment variable, the file I've named here, env.py. So you can see my OpenAI key, I've stored it in a string here, that I will access from this file also. So you can do the same. Or if you know how to store it also in environment variables, any way you are comfortable with. So I will also have to import this env file. Then what I do is I connect the Open AI key. So open AI key. Dot API key, and then we set it equal to the key we just copied from the Open AI website. So env. Dot open. AI key. Pin. And then we also initialize our speech engine. Which we can just do by saying engine equal to pi tt xs3 dot in it. With that, we initialize our speech engine. Let us create a quick function, speak, which will take words as an argument. And then in here, we will set the property, the, uh, the speech rate. So a couple of properties, rate. I don't even have to declare it. So engine dot set property. And then we want to set the rate property
to 135 for now. You also want to set the volume engine dot set property. And then this time around, we set the volume property. And I want it to be 80% of the volume, so 0 0.8. And then we choose the voice also, voices equal to engine dot. Now we have to get the property, the get the voices property, get property. We want to get the voices inside the engine itself. And then now that we have the voices, we can use it where we want to use it. So engine dot set property. And we set the voice property. I want a female voice, so voices, the voices that we just obtained, and then the index one dot ID. This one will give me a female voice. And then we now say the words that we want to say. Engine dot say. And what do we want to say? We want to say words, the words that we will pass in. But we don't know what will be coming in, so let us first cast it into a string, so we'll string words, so that we save ourselves from any kind of errors. Engine dot run and wait. We have to declare the run and wait. We also have to tell it to stop when it is done. Engine dot stop. Then we initialize our speech recognizer. Also, we want to use the Google, the Google speech recognizer, those Google engines to do our work for us using our microphone. So we speak into the microphone. It gets to Google. Google converts the speech to test and then sends it back. Then we know how to do with it. So we have to also initialize our speech recognizer. Let's just call it rec. Rec equal to then SR because we imported a speech recognition as SR. SR dot recognizer. And then we come down. Before we take the speech to Google, we want to do something small so we can call speak and tell it here. Hello, sir. I am listening for your command. And then afterwards, we will connect to the Google engine. So with this, is how we do this with sr dot microphone as the source of the audio we are using our microphone as the source as source we want to set the uh, listen for the audio and then store it in a particular variable which we will call audio for now audio equal to then r dot listen uh, rec 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 rather rec dot listen and then we what we want to listen for is the source then we see another thing i am computing an answer for your request I will be done soon. 
So this one, the uh, test speech will speak it back to us. Then we get a test from Google. Test equal to rec dot recognize. Recognize Google. And then what we want to recognize is audio. That's here we use the Google speech recognition. Then we now have the test from Google. We can send the test through the OpenAI API to OpenAI and then it will generate an answer and then bring it back to us and then we can also say it. So let's call it discussion equal to OpenAI dot completion no capitalize completion dot create we want to create a completion and then in here we have to pass a couple of arguments we have to pass the prompt which is what we are asking for so prompt and this prompt will be equal to the test that came back from google uh, from google so prompt equal to test we also have to set the engine the engine that's uh, OpenAI has, has a lot of, uh, some engines, a couple of engines, but we use the DaVinci engine to so test hyphen DaVinci 002. Then one more thing we have to pass is the maximum tokens. So max underscore tokens. The words that we, the words that the AI generates is broken down into tokens. So a word like hamburger on their page this is the hamburger is broken down to three tokens ham bear and ga well, those are the tokens so the number of tokens that we declare will help the ai to compute for long or uh, submit long answers to us uh, anything between 1500 and 2048 according to the website is, is okay so we come down to their documentation we find out that the maximum number of tokens like this so it tells us that hamburger is broken down into three and then for most models 2048 or about 1500 words is okay let's set our own to for now for just for practical purposes i'll set this one to 500 it wouldn't really do anything and then or let me make it thousand let me make it thousand let me extend it now this one will come in but let us test it and print it out and see what will happen. So it will bring it. Let's print. Let's make answer to be equal to discussion dot choices. Let just discussion and then let's print answer to the terminal uh, to the terminal for us to see. Oh. I usually said terminal and answer. Okay. Let's run our code and see. Uh, we have some error somewhere. Oh, I typed the root here. Hello, sir. I am listening for your command. What is a leap year? I am computing an answer for your request. I will be done soon. Let me expand our terminal because it will bring some response for us. We have an error. Speech recognition um, it is not telling us where the line is. Let's go back to our code and see. With SR microphone as source. R.listen source. And then recognize Google. And then we have the audio here. Let us run it again and see. Hello, sir. I am listening for your command. What is a leap year? I am computing an answer for your request. I will be done soon.
Okay, so the first one was probably a network issue. We see that the results, the discussion we printed has been displayed at our terminal. We see results too. And this is the test that uh, was sent back by Google, the voice that was converted with a confidence of 92%. And this the transcript is what we, we said and what came out. But if we take our eyes off how complex this thing may look like and we look at the choices list, we will see that it has finished reason and everything. We are not even worried about those ones. The test here is our response from the OpenAI API, saying that a leap year is a year that has an extra day in it. February has 29 days instead of 28. So this is what we have to assess and then speak back to ourselves using the test to speech. So let us quickly print that one so we can access the choices list as we saw in the in the terminal. And the choices list, the zero element of the choices list. Because if we go back to our run, see that choices is here, and then the first one is the list and above, after the list there's a comma and other things follow so you have to assess the element at the zero index that's the list that contains our test and then inside the list we can assess the test variable because it's a dictionary in there we can assess the test variable so dot test this one will just print the test that we need also and we we are done we just have to delete this one and say if test or if answer in our case if answer that if there is an answer, then speak the answer. So that is it. Let us try it again and then see what you have done so far. Hello, sir. I am listening for your command. What is a leap year? I am computing an answer for your request. I will be done soon. A leap year is a year that has an extra day in it. February has 29 days instead of 28. So that will be all for today. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you want to see more like this, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. You don't know to miss any future tutorials. Until another time, I'll see you again with an interesting project. Be sure to keep on practicing. Thank you.